Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, June 16th, 2014. Well, we certainly have a lot of red on for this week, don't we? There's uh, red on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then finally it quiets down on Friday except for its quadruple witching. That means all quarterlies, um, futures, regular uh, option expiration, everything is happening that day. It's going to be a busy day for closing things out. So there'll be a lot of volume out there, especially in the derivatives. Okay, but for today, and thinking about last Friday, I did check theirs and there was nothing, there's nothing spectacular one way or the other last Friday. Um, but for today, we have uh, Empire State Manufacturing Survey, Treasury International Capital, Industrial Production, and Housing Market Index to watch out for. So that should be interesting, as always. Okay, uh, looking across the ponds, and here we have um, a little tag on here that's showing us what the futures look like right now in the U.S., but we're more interested in Asia, which is mostly bearish, and Europe, which is 100% bearish, right across the board. So it should be probably a move down today, I would expect, overall. All right, um, let's go over and take a look at the futures here live we have all the major indexes are going to gap down at the open and gold is at 1280 climbing back up and oil is at 10707 pretty high pretty high um and then on friday friday was very busy and i have the numbers for last week they're up on the website you can download this spreadsheet right here. Uh, ended up ahead $160 for the week. Uh, for the year, we're approaching 3000 Could be doing a little bit better. You know, that's on... Uh, that's on about $50... Five thousand dollars. So we could be doing a little bit better than that, but it's still better than having money sitting in a savings account, and we're having fun at the same time. And this is a calculated commission rate. This is not the actual um, less commission rate. It's just calculated. So let's take a look at uh, trades. Last week we had. FedEx was a loser, and we saw that one. Uh, we have uh, Russell wins again. We could have possibly hung on to that a little bit longer. It's a bare call. But I didn't want to hold it over the weekend. And then Priceline fried us. Um, we had a, a bull put on, and it went really bad, so we flipped. This was all in one day, 6-12. I got in in the morning, out in the afternoon, and then I jumped in on a, bull, on a bear call that very same afternoon on 6-12 and had it uh, expire 100% in the money. You can see at the 16 614 date there's zero dollars in there so that one expired totally 100 percent out of the money way out of the money way out um google um we were right around break even so we managed to pull a couple of pennies out of that one and then boeing uh burned us last week as well so um if it wasn't for the flip on priceline it would have been a very bad week. And Priceline, if you remember, and we can take a look at it when we look at the A-plus list, was one of those that you could, we could have gone either way on it, actually. Okay, um, so we have a couple more weeks left in June. 
We're not doing too bad. Uh, I will close out the June numbers here on the 28th. Even though I believe June goes into, I think, Monday and Tuesday of this particular week, I'll just close it out and, and add everything up this week. And we'll see how we do. Okay, um, I think we're probably definitely going to have a bearish bias because uh, things aren't going too well in the world and it doesn't bode well for the markets. So right now we're looking at how much negative delta. We have minus 46 here and we're looking at $27 in theta in each count for today. And then we're going to figure out when we are will uh, jump on that uh, 510 iron condor. And that would be in this account here. So uh, we'll be throwing it down here into this account. So we'll be following along on that one too. And when I did the video, which is out there now, on the 510 iron condor on SPX, uh, I neglected to say that you can certainly leg in with that amount of time that you're going to have. So um, if price is uh, wiggling around sufficiently, I'll take a look at the SPX here. Uh, there's no reason why you cannot use um, the CSSV2 indicators for, uh, you know, g getting in on the... Um, uh, bear call side and getting in on the bull put side at these points on the indicators. This was a little bit, this was an unusual run for SPX here. It was a pretty strong one. Uh, hit a new high. Got some topping indicators here with the candles and it seems to be pulling back. So we're definitely going to be gapping down this morning. Uh, well, that definitely, of course, things can change. <laughs> All right. Let's get right to the old scan. We'll start out with our normal leadoff, Apple. Okay, Apple is uh, in a pullback, and I would say that it's probably going to continue today. Yeah. We'll probably, looks like we might open pretty close to where the close was on Friday. We are looking for a hook down here. So we have a setup on Apple. All right, Amazon. Where are we here? Let's see here. Uh, we are in a trade with Amazon right now. Um, just trying to figure, we have conflicting moving average signals here. Um, we are in a setup with Amazon. <sighs> Man, but I don't, I don't know how to call this. I don't know if the call is for, well, I don't know. If it hooks, I'll tell you what, if it hooks up, I mean, just may add to this position here. I don't think I'll be able to get really a 20 delta, but uh, with this expiration, so I don't have to uh, put any more money at risk. So it'd be sort of like a free trade. So if we get a hook here, this is a setup for a 20 Delta for Amazon. And that's what I would do because of these conflicting signals here. We're not in a clear up or down trend right now. So 20 Delta for Amazon for a bull put. I don't know that we're going to get uh, the hook or not based on where the market might be headed today, but we'll see. We'll, and then we'll add to it, we'll do a um, bear call on this and condorize it for the rest of the week. Let's see if it works out. <clears throat> All right, Boeing. Ochi, Ochi. Boeing did not work out. 
Uh, I've been a little bit late on this one. Just a little bit late. And, you know, we're a little bit early in the downtrend. Should have waited for another cycle. So that's how we learn our lessons. But now, now we have conflicting indications here too. So we, we're going to wait and here's what, it looks like we're getting into a new downtrend. So I want it to prove it to me. So we're moving up here. Ah. Oh. And we're going to wait to see if we get it. All right. It's a little bit confusing right now because a lot of uh, the underlines have uh, differences in the 20 EMA and the 50 SMA, which indicates a change. Uh, Baidu did not come down to our target. And it's continuing its march upward. We'll see if it will continue that in this environment. Uh, we are in Baidu with a uh, bull put 20 delta. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, anything coming up here? Nope. We're looking for another opportunity to jump in down here. Looks like we're going to have to wait a while. Uh, Celgene Oh, we have a setup on Celgene, but this, <clears throat> yeah, we have a setup on Celgene, pure and simple. Now we had the setup Friday as well, didn't turn out, we didn't get our hook up, so we stayed out, which is a good thing, but it's still in a setup today for sure. Okay, Chipotle, don't remember, oh man, it's just not coming down, is it? Just not doing anything for us here. Okay, so, you don't want to play along? Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Alright, Costco, um, we are in a setup here, but we have, again, conflicting signals. So if we were to do anything, it would be a 20 delta. So I'm going to go ahead and put a circle in down here, and I'm going to make it a 20 delta by turning it yellow, which yellow is the color of baby chickens, and that's what I am. I'm chicken, so we're doing a 20 delta, and that's a 20 delta setup. We need the hook and a move up, and price would be good too. Alright, CVX, Chevron, 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 wow, big candle here on Friday, very nice for CVX, we're still waiting, take a look at the Dow, just to look at it, uh, and a fairly decent day on Friday, fairly decent, We'll see how it works out today. We have a little bit of a hookup here, which overall is an indication of a temporary bottom, but it doesn't mean that it can't continue down and give us, have this turn back to red, which it might do today. Igor, all right, we're still waiting to get some cooperation out of Igor. And uh, this one's moving up quite well, very smartly. Could have taken, you know, because of the, because the trend is so strong, could have grabbed one right here. A little 20 delta territory here. 20 delta territory here and here. If we don't get down to our white circle. So we might use that as uh, when you're in a strong trend either way like this and you're it's not coming down into the 30 or 20 for a um, bull put then 
might want to grab 20 deltas at these points. Just want to keep in the market, keep the uh, juices flowing here. All right, so FedEx, what is going on with FedEx? Man, sure fried me. Um, uh, this happens once in a while. Um, this is unusual. Very unusual. I think we're in a trend reversal. We have earnings this week. So let's just take a pass on FedEx. All right, F5. Uh, yeah, we have a little bit of time left. We're still in here on F5, right? Yeah. So we have a little bit of time left. We still have our alert out there. It's um, keeping us pretty nervous right now. Um, let's see. We're in a fairly strong uptrend. And looky here. We have an opening. Looks like it's going to open up here. No, that was Friday. This is today is over here. So I'm not sure what's going to happen today. But we do have our alert set. So we'll just hang in there. Uh, we may have a 20 delta opportunity here if we get a hookup. So I'm adding it to our 20 delta list. And in, a, in effect, we'll be condorizing uh, this particular trade because I'll probably grab pick this week uh, expiration. So if the market's down and F5 moves up today, then that's it's strong and it's doing running counter to the market. So we're <laughs> still down a dollar on this thing and we've been in a long time. Oh yeah. And IV percentile is zero. What's IV is 0.28. Wow. Zero, you gotta be kidding me. There's a lot of zeros. Wow, it's at the lowest IV point in the last year. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know if it, with IV the way that it is right now, I'm not sure that this would be a good trade to do a 20 delta with an expiration of this week. <laughs> I don't think it's, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna have to get so close to add the money that it's not going to be worth it. Let's peek. Peek right quick. That's this week's expiration. Four days away, 20 delta. I got to do here. Go back to 28. Too much clutter here. 20 delta would be at 109, and that's right here. Yeah, I don't know. It might be. It might be a good trade. Yeah, if it holds, 109 would be a good one if we get a move up today. It's still on my list. Doesn't mean I'm going to, but I will be looking at it. All right, gold is coming back. Uh, we get up here around the 123, 124 price range, then I can uh, think about selling a call against my 100 shares that I have. Uh, do we have anything else? Any CSS V2 stuff here? Forgot to look at that. Uh, come on back. Okay. Um, I think we're going to get into a new trend here. So I'm looking for 20 deltas down here. Now, I'm going to change my bias on gold. Uh, my bias on the market is down, and my bias on gold is up. All right, Google. <clears throat> All right, ouch. We lost a little bit on Google, but it wasn't, no, we made a little bit on Google. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, just because break even was a little bit above where it, the price was playing around. So although, um, the short was in the money, the long mm, was
was close to being at the money, so um, we didn't really get hurt all that much. IV percentile is at 56. That's got to be like the highest one on the list. 54 for Chipotle. So, um, yeah, it's pretty high up there for Google right now, 56%. The actual I implied volatility is only 28, but that's that's uh, half a, halfway to its range for the last year. So it's in the middle, not bad. Um, got fried on this one. Which direction is Google running in? Well, I'm going to be shifting back to a 20 delta on Google. So if we get, should we get a hook up here, it's going to be a 20 delta. So I'm going to put another circle in here, target, and change that to a 20 delta just because we, we are, <laughs> well, we're pretty flat right here right now. So I don't know that I would do anything at the money from a momentum perspective which has been hanging around here kind of flat uh, we got in a little bit late <laughs> a lot late on this one so that was a foolish trade on Google and we managed to be okay on it uh, LinkedIn All right, LinkedIn looks like it's in a new uptrend. Pretty powerful looking. Uh, counter to the market like Chipotle. It's just like, eh, I don't care what the market's doing. I don't know why, but it is doing what it's doing, and we want to take advantage of it. So we have to wait a little while for that one. Uh, 3M was another one we were looking at for a 50 delta. We didn't get our confirmation down here. We'll wait one more day and see if it comes through for us. NDX. We're in a pretty solid uptrend right now. Um, we took a lot of bets against this recently and got burnt. Um, but right now, let's see here. Yeah, we are looking at a possible 20 Delta trade on NDX. So, um, this is close enough for a 20 Delta. Should probably maybe make this a little bit more elongated here to the upside ah. and come on sorry about wasting everybody's time doing this there it's okay so now we're in setup <laughs> as indicated by the uh, oval not the circle, but an oval target, giving us a little bit more range on the stochastic. So I'm gonna, I'll clean these drawings up here. I'm pretty fast, aren't I? Okay, let's take a look at Netflix. Oh, Netflix rolling over slowly. <coughs> um, don't like this for 50 delta. It's not giving, I'm looking for choppy stuff, not rolling stuff. Um, 20 delta? Mm, maybe. I still want to watch it though. I want to keep an eye on it. Give it another day. Priceline? Yes. Priceline. Very interesting here what's going on with Priceline. So we're putting another target in up here. Obviously it's in a downtrend. <laughs> I mean, geez. Um, one good day and then bam. So I haven't checked the news on them yet or anything. 
So looking at the Russell uh, 20 Delta, we didn't get any sort of confirmation on it at this point. Uh, we're going to put it in our 20 Delta list along with NDX. And it could be, you know, if it should happen to give us a trigger for a 20 Delta, there's no reason why you couldn't put your, put. there's no reason for me not to put the 5 Delta on um, for uh, the 510 Iron Condor. Okay. Moving right along. SPX, I'm guessing it's going to give us the same type of indicator. Yes, it is. So a 20 delta on SPX. Now remember, you need at least some sort of price movement up. So I've got a feeling it's probably not going to happen today. Uh, TLT. Uh, we're back in an uptrend on TLT. So we're looking. I'm not. This is not valid anymore. I'm not going to against a bear move or bull move on uh, TLT so I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and drag this down here and turn it into a 20 Delta ovoid <laughs> and uh, take a look at jumping in on that uh, implied volatility is 10% on it not very exciting uh, let's see, Tesla. I mean, look for a 20 delta up here and see how that one works out. All right. And last but not least, as Visa was set up here for a 20 delta. Yes, we had it on 612 on our 20 delta list, I believe. That's what it says. Um, and we missed out on it. So we're going to have to wait. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.